Okay, so it's about time we got a 55. This is a uh, 55 210 Chevrolet. Lead to be 350 under the hood with power brakes. Uh, no power steering sitting down in there. Pretty clean under the hood. Aluminum radiator. Of course, coming down the side here. Looks all right. Set of craggers, disc brakes in the front. Disc brakes in the rear too. Dual exhaust. And matching interior. Detail pictures, financing, shipping. Just go to maplemotors.com. Guys, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. A glance around inside here. The headliner looks pretty good. Checking over the back seat in your package tray. All your door panels have definitely been recovered. They look awesome. The seats, the seats have got that style to them. That's pretty sweet. Four speed transmission. It looks like um, new carpet. Somebody's changed it out. Aftermarket gauges. Love, absolutely love the dashes in these cars. Sweet. Start it up. Motor sounds great. Got good oil pressure. We'll wait on that temperature. See if it starts working. Radio. Let's see here. I'm trying to get something to happen. Some kind of sound. I don't hear anything, so we'll say that needs work. Wipers. The switch is nice and stiff on this one, and it's not working. What about this? What is this? I'm not sure, but it's not doing anything either. Turn signals. Left side's blinking. Right side is blinking as well. Tack. Tack's not working. Horn, did you place your bets? And that one needs to be hooked up. Okay, so we're definitely going to stop and get some fuel, make sure we don't run out. Anything else I see throughout the video, you're going to know about. Hey, that rhymes. Okay, guys. Crack the window a little bit. It's getting a little stuffy in here. It feels great outside. We got a lot of rain and stuff that have came through. This is the first time that I've driven this. The clutch is letting off right off the floor. That feels pretty good. Let's check our brakes. They feel okay. And we've got an open road here. Oversized steering wheel makes it easy to turn. Speedometer's not working. This thing's going really straight down the road. A little bit of slack in the steering though. You see that? Okay, got some fuel. Put it in right here. We put about 15 in this one this time. Check the gauge. That's why we stop here. 
just to make sure we don't run out and make sure the gauge works. Turn the key on. It's up past half the tank now. And we are ready to go. guys just got seated up in here and it looks like our gauges are working but the temp gauge is not up to the desired temp uh, I'm thinking that it may be in the wrong spot it's just reading incorrectly our oil pressure is sitting at 40 at idle you rev it up it jumps to about 60 um, let's go ahead and reverse here nope that ain't reverse I'm gonna come over a little bit more there we are We're going to roll on out. And the brakes hard. They stop decently. I think we're good to roll. Let's go ahead and roll on out. things easy to drive I think I'm gonna pull in over here there's a studio that one of my buddies is dying for me to check out so 
So I'm gonna go in here and see what's going on. If you didn't know already, uh, all the music on the channel is created by me at my house in my own studio. And they are here, good deal. This is a very high-end studio. A lot of people have been recorded here. Oh, but they're gutting it and redoing it. So let's go in and see what's going on. I'll show you what, what it looks like. Might as well, if you're interested. Towards the end, you can skip over this part if you'd like. There's picking out the flaws. that's gonna be going around this whole car, looking for chips, scratches, rust, dents, you know, all the goodies. I'll be back. Well, unfortunately, I gotta wait till they're done over here, so I can't go in the studio area, but this has got a lot going on in this place. A lot of records have been cut. Of course, we're in Nashville, so yeah. There's always studios around. You recognize any of these faces? <laughs> God, dog, what is that? A <laughs> rail buggy. <laughs> There's a lot going on around here. <laughs> okay, guys, heading back to the lot. Uh oh. -uh. Here soon, I'm going to go in here and cut a song called Redneck to the Bone that I have. I don't know if y'all have heard it. I'm sure you have. I've had it on the channel a few times, the recording that I did out of my house. But I want to get it done in a different studio because it's just not right yet for me to put out. I got a bunch of songs like that. And they'll come out slowly. All right. Picking out the flaws. Coming up next. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride and see if we can find any kind of rust, dents, or scratches. Uh, that's what I'm here to do. And there's detailed pictures on our website at maplemotors.com. So front end and all the lower portions, and then midsection and top. Front end here, the chrome has got some chips. A little pitting. A little scuff there. A little bit of pitting on your turn signals and in your grill. Headlight bezels, not bad. A little chip there in the corner. A little spot there, up here. Little chip there, crack in the paint, bubble down here at the bottom, corner of the door as well. Spot there, a couple more bubbles at the bottom of the door. Zooming in on all this stuff, little chips down here. Some more bubbles there in the corner. Little chips there. chips there on the paint back your midsection chips right here around the tail light Little spots there chip on the edge of the door bubbles right there in the paint little imperfections there under the trim front windshield there's a little spot in the glass there little chips Pitting on the handle here. A little chip there. A little chip there. At the top. 
back window. It's got light scratches on it. Really light. They may not pop up for the video. Got some marks here that have been touched up. Little spots there by the trim. Up on the back here, the chrome around the back on this bumper looks pretty good. It's not bad. A little hazy on these pieces. Oh, this corner's got a little bit of pitting on it too. It's not bad though. In your jams. Chip there. Couple chips up there. Seriously, a bird got us. Wow. Mark there. It's been touched up. The weather stripping is definitely dried up and oversprayed. Chips around the edge. Get down in your trunk. Looks like a little bit of a leak there. That looks pretty good to me. Not bad at all. Well, gotta make sure this goes back down so we can shut the trunk. <laughs> Pretty clean up in here. Tire looks good. Coming down with it. Shut it a little harder. A little bit harder. Okay, now it's shut. Scratches there, a little bit of pitting on the chrome. Chips around that edge in the corner here. Also there. A little chip on the edge here. Just try not to touch the bird crap. I'll have to spray it off when we get back. Coming down this side. A scratch chip there. Also in the corner here. chip there on the door as well at the bottom little bubbles little scuff chip bubbles at the bottom scuff there stain in the paint that should come out back your midsection scratch Little spot there. Scuff. That'll wax off. Chip. Another spot that should wax off. That chips around the trim here. Around the top of your back window, you got some spots. Back window itself looks all right. Chip there. Light scratch in the window. Pitting on the door handle. Ding here. Also here. Little spot there by the antenna. It's pitted. Little spots there. Chip here. Little scuff on top too. Scratch on the front windshield. A 
cuff scratch there. Crack in the paint is what it is. Light ding, dead center on the white. Let's look over the roof some more. Okay, we've walked around the outside. Let's look at the interior some more. Start it up and listen to the motor. Door panel is awesome. The seal is gone. chips there. Like I said, the carpet's been replaced in this. It's nice and clean all the way around. The seats look to be a little bit older. You can see a little yellowing on them, some wear, a little scratch here and there. But for the most part, they're holding up pretty good. Looks like right here in the center you got a little rip. Back seat, the bottom portion looks like it's been either just changed out. I'm going to say just changed out because everything else has this interior in it. I'm assuming the back lower seat was messed up. Uh, door panels also have been changed in the back and they look good. Your package tray looks good. The back seat still got a little yellow and a little haze to it. I think it'll clean up a little bit better but if you want it to be perfect it'll have to be changed. Uh, headliner in this one looks all right. Go ahead and start it up. Give it a little gas. Our engine temperature never come up to a satisfying range, so I don't know how true it actually is. Could be located in the wrong spot. Our oil pressure seems pretty accurate there. That's about the average going oil pressure. A mileage, oh my gosh. Totally unknown there. Your passenger door panel looks awesome too. They've changed it out. Custom little battery tray here for the top. They've also uh, put the side post on there instead of the top post. A little tick every once in a while coming from the motor. Say that and it quit. Give a good listen there. It seems to be running pretty strong. Don't see any fluid in the radiator coming out. the edges up under the hood coming down with it that's pretty easy little chip there chip there the corner there too spots on the edge here spring sitting a little bit high could just be greased there fitting on your hood ornament like scratches here 
scuff up there. Chips on the edge here. Guys, we made it all the way around this ride. Seems like to do a good job on one of these videos. It does take about 20 to 30 minutes worth of video. It takes me about an hour to make these. And with your help, I can keep doing that. So hit subscribe and share. If you have any suggestions, I'll put them into play. Most of the time, I'm down to try all kinds of new stuff when it comes to video in these cars. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. Every Monday, this is important, every Monday we put the cars on. Throughout the week, they sell. You can also go to a playlist here that says cars currently available. It's here on YouTube. Be sure to check that out. I update that weekly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.